All right, there's 1300. Okay. Thank you, sir. No problem. Hey guys, today I am buying a bunch of hunting equipment, something that I really don't know much about, but a buddy of mine named Ryan, who I bought from before, sent me some specs of like everything he has. It's about 20 pieces altogether. There's a compound bow, uh, I think there's a sight, some backpacks, just a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm paying $1,300 for it, which is a lot of money, but I think there's some profit to be made. I'm heading over there now to take a look at everything in person and get this deal done. What's going on, man? Uh -huh, Long time no see. How you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Doing well. Cool, cool, cool. So you getting out of hunting? Yeah, I'm gonna. This year, lost our hunting spot we've had for a long time. And oh, really? What happened to it? Uh, people that that the guy that owned it, he's actually a builder, so uh, he's had it kind of laying dormant and wasn't gonna build on it, but he bought it up anyways. And then another builder came in and wanted the property, so. He ended up selling it off. And okay. So, but uh, try to reach out all over here locally, sent letters to everybody, and fortunately, it's just like hunt land so hard to come by. Really? Yeah. Huh. So, yep. Not a lot of people are too fond on people coming on and hunting and stuff. But, sure. You know, it's a, I think it's kind of a, a dying sport for a lot of people. It makes it hard for anybody to get into it. Yeah. So, I figured I'd part ways and with my son, you know, being three and then talking about having another one, I figured down the road, if they want to get into it, maybe get back into it. But right now, just sitting there collecting dust. Yeah. I don't know a lot about this stuff, so I was glad you had, you know, like some, like write up of what all it was. So it was easy to look up prices yeah. and everything. And when you go to list it, if you have any, any questions at all, or if anybody asks you, hey, does it have this? Or hey, you know, right? is it this? then just give me a call and I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, this thing looks clean. Oh, just bought it last year. It's last year's model. Wow. Like I said, right now is the best time to sell it because all, everybody's, all the companies, their flagship bows are out. So yeah, got to see them and if they don't like them, then they, you know, they want the last year model. Interesting. But yeah, yeah, you got a lot of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's the, the Quiet Reaper. That's the monster. Here are those ones I told you I was throwing in. Just a, a little Badlands pack. Here's the Bino. Okay. Straps. Uh, this I threw in. Just a hand saw. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. And threw this in. This is a, that's your, that's the peep sight. That goes uh, right here. That's what they tie in for you to look through. Oh, wow. What's this? That's the aerosol I told you. That's our oh, aerosol. okay. Yep. That's the. Right so you cut your own arrows, huh? Yep. Cut wow. your own arrows, and then this tool, this tool files them down, so they're nice and square. Huh. That's incredible. There's so much into this. Like I have yeah. no idea. I need to learn about. My uncle's really big into bow hunting, so. Yeah, I have. I have. Gosh, I have tons of these arrows, but yeah. unfortunately, I already cut them. So it'd be a little harder to sell, right? You know, because you got to find somebody that wants that exact length. But these are all brand new, so they've never been cut. All the inserts and everything are in there for them. And then here's your this is your drop away, which you can look on the felt pad. I mean, it's like brand new. Awesome, but man. Everything else, you know, this. I mean, there's a lot of people they they love that. That's one of the best sites on the market. And yeah. I kept it, you know, real good and everything. I didn't cut any of the, all the sight tapes, which you can see them peeking out right there. Huh. But, yeah, everything, everything I tried to, is either new or I tried to keep as close to new. Right. Box it all back up for you so it looked and, you know. Yeah, I appreciate that, good, man. So. All right, that's 1300 Okay. Thank you, sir. No problem. I thank you. Like I said, if you have any questions, just... Here's this, um, I don't know how you're gonna sell it. If you're gonna sell the bow case separate, or I'll if you're gonna- probably sell it with the case. With the case, just for shipping? For extra okay. packing and stuff with shipping, yeah. If, if for any reason you separate it out, this obviously goes with the bow, not okay. the case. Okay, okay. That's, that's all the paperwork for the bow. Cool. So. I brought some totes and stuff, so I'm okay. ready to load it. Test this stuff. I'm gonna try to get it listed Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, I was gonna say that, uh, Obviously not telling you.
what to do, but the bell is this is the time of year everybody's buying and getting ready for outdoor. Okay. All the outdoor ranges and stuff. When does that end? Like when would the if if you if you're if you think right now is a good time to sell the stuff, when does that window any, close? Any of the, so as far as like right now, the main things I would list would be the bow, the arrow, the arrows, the release, the drop away, the peak, and this. And these are right here, these, this, and obviously the bow. This is the stuff I would try to get listed right away because everybody's trying to put their outfit together for this year. For, Got it. You know, all their outdoor ranges. Yeah. Turkey season's going to be coming up, so everybody's wanting to get their bows ready. But this kind of stuff I'd try to list right away. The packs and stuff and the harnesses, you're going to see that closer to deer season coming in at, in September. I mean, people will still buy them, especially the packs for like, turkey hunting and stuff but the like the harness and stuff and the binoculars that might kind of fall later yeah but yeah anything that goes on the bow should be they should be real quick sellers for you okay cool and if you if you forget and have any questions just let me know all right thanks man Doing no, just toss it in, however. Yeah, actually, I had it all listed because I'm in a bunch of Facebook groups. Oh, are you? I had the bow and everything actually listed on there, and, and I was like, you know what? I've sold so many bows on Facebook, you know, shipping on this stuff. And I was like, you know what? I said, I'm just going to reach out to God. I'd rather get it all in. I actually had a guy I forgot to. I forgot to take it off of a listing last night and he asked me he said would you take a thousand ships for the bow yeah i was like oh no i said but i told him i said be walking for it on ebay <laughs> right <laughs> so but uh yeah and then i don't know um if i would have had time i would have went for you but um i'm trying to think you you think you have a box that'll work for the bow I'll probably find one. Okay. Yeah, okay. if you have one, I mean that'd be great. Well, I, but... I don't. I don't have one. I was. I was trying to think, but if you're going to list on Monday, it'll probably sell soon. But I was actually going out to um, Eastgate tomorrow, and I know a lot of the times I'm real good buddies with the guy out at Broken Rack. He'll sometimes have actually bow boxes left over. No kidding. That he doesn't, you know, and he'll just he'll he just gives them to people when they sell their bows. Online. Oh, okay. So. um when I'm out there tomorrow, I'll I'll check and if he has it, I'll let you know. That'd be great. Yeah, that thanks, way man. You can just put it in that and that it's designed for the Right, stuff. exactly. But yeah, I was thinking like I go to Golf Galaxy and Guitar Center a lot of times to get boxes. I was thinking of like a guitar box. Yeah. Because they're usually about that shape. They're long rectangular. I think it would probably work. But yeah, if there's a bow box, that'd be perfect. Okay. Yeah. I will uh, I will check on that for you tomorrow and I'll let you know. Cool. Okay. Thanks again, man. Alrighty, thank you, buddy. Yep. See ya. Yep. All right, guys, I'm back home. I've got everything loaded in the back. There's a lot of stuff. There's about 20, 25 pieces. So I think I can get all this listed in one day. I'm going to try to make this stuff a priority, get it all listed in Monday because from what Ryan said, now is the time of year to sell it. Ryan, thanks again for the deal on everything. Hope we can do business together again soon. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.